Hello everyone, it's my channel. Today we're doing reading for Sign of Leo, and keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Leo. If you like a personal reading, this can be the first link in the description down below. I repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You also find a bunch of other things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there, and a bunch of other things there in, the, in my Etsy shop on the description down below. Um, you can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Leo, let's see what Spirit has in store for your sale. You have the Death card. Alright, so we have a transformation happening with inside yourself here. Leo Death card could also be that of Scorpius, maybe with those placements, one around you, but either way. It feels like we're having that of a spiritual transformation happening with inside yourself at the moment. Okay. That Death card can also be that of Anubis. So let's try and let's see more. Not just read off of just one card. Yeah, the Page of Wands. We have the King of Pentacles. The Earth. We have the Sun. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Temperance, which can be that of Sagittarius, with the Seven of Wands here, Leo. Yeah, feels like you've you've you transformed here, and you've came into a place of more happiness. Okay, Leo, where you're full of life. Okay, where you are happy, where you're at peace here. Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is like a really this is a lot of abundance happening for you, Leo. King of Pentacles. But I, I feel like you're gonna have enough money for yourself and enough money to like pass on through generations to share. You understand, like there's a lot of money coming in towards you. There's a lot of abundance here. There's a lot of happiness. There's a lot of peace here, and where you're really at balance. You're you're in alignment here. Okay. You have the sun and the moon. We have the angel here of temperance. Okay, Sagittarius, we have the king of pentacles. That could be earth. So you could have... Um, did I say Sagittarius? I meant to say Leo. Either way, so you can have earth placements or an earth sign coming around you. We have judgment with the wheel of fortune. You see that you've 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 raised your spirit here, Leo. You raised your vibration. That's why you're at this higher. That's why you're at this high vibe in life. That's why you're happy. That's why you feel at peace. Okay, because you raised up. Okay, you've risen, and now you're look at this. You're on top of the wheel, and you're on top of that wheel. When you're at this vibration here, Leo, of happiness, and you've really raised it. Okay. That's when you can really manifest abundance because you are at that vibration where you feel happy. You feel, you understand? You feel, and then you manifest. Your heart is open, and you manif you're at that positive vibration, so you can manifest positive things. And we have the Ten of Pentacles wanting to come out once again. Yeah, the wheel, or the Fool. The lady there with the crystal. So we have cups. Oh, but we have the seven of swords. Four of wands. Six of cups. King of cups, which is water. Four of cups. Two of pentacles. Leo, I see... I do see you being stable in life, coming into a place where you have a lot of stability, you have a lot of... Well, you have a lot of, you have a lot of things going on with you, right? And it's good things, okay? When you're free, you're at this point where, like, you feel very free, okay? But you have this person here who feels like wanting to reunite with you. King of Cups. We did see that of Scorpio there earlier. It can be Scorpio, can be Pisces, can be Cancer, whatever one, okay? Could be Twin Flame or Soulmate with the Four of Wands, Six of Cups being there. But the things that, Seven of Swords. I don't like that being there. 
Four of Cups tells me that you're kind of like, eh, about it anyways. You're like, eh, I don't really know, right? You're kind of like... Listen to your intuition here, Leo, because... This person could have different motives. Yeah, but I see your heart being open, okay? You're being able to manifest in your heart space. We have the Six of Swords, we have these birds here guiding you, we have the Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Hangman, Ace of Wands, Strength, which is your own card, and the Six of Pentacles, we have a lot of infinity here. See that you are manifesting here, you're manifesting abundance once again because your heart is open because you've raised your vibration here, Leo. You're being guided here towards your Ten of Cups, towards what makes you happy, can be happy family, happy relationship, to happiness, either way, okay? So you're stepping more into light. This is this new beginning. This is this passion being ignited in you, okay? And we're having a lot of growth. It really feels like you're lifted up here and you are free and you are being guided now towards what makes you happy. You have the Empress. Oh, but we have the Three of Swords. Two of Cups. Five of Swords. I don't like the Three of Swords being there. I feel like there could be a relationship there. This King of Cups wanting to reunite with you, but I also feel like there's something there where there's like. Maybe there's past hurts between you and this person. So it makes it a bit kind of hard to like have a new start with them. Whatever you want to do here, Leo, what feels right to you. I also feel like there could be a different relationship coming up for you. We have the Empress. We have that of like fertility there and other things, Leo. Nine of Pentacles, Star, we that of Aquarius, we have the Eight of Swords, the Moon. You see, I see you kind of wanting to get out of this situation here, and you having bigger dreams besides this. It's like this person just comes around and you're like, oh no, get away. Um, the Moon, feels like you're manifesting with this Moon here, your dreams. Alright, we do have a full moon coming up ahead here, Leo. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Feels like you're just focused on work here. We have that of Green Candles, which could be that of Significance there. And the Nine of Cups. You see, you're manifesting your wishes here, Leo. And the Nine of Swords. Five of Wands. Don't have things in your life that make you feel bogged down, okay? Whether it be this person, someone around you, don't allow that in your life because it, it like, you're manifesting good things. You can't be thinking about what's you know what I'm saying? You know, some ruins and some crumbs for yourself. Okay. So you have Aries. So you can have those placements or one around you here. This person can have those placements. We have Virgos. Once again, you can have those placements or one around you. We have this Egyptian snake goddess. We have a lot of, we have new beginnings and it's in yourself, okay? We have birth things, but it's with inside yourself here, Leo. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of flow, there's a lot of changes happening with inside yourself. We do have that of justice, and you're stepping more into authority here. So that's all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below. For personal reading, I'll just go to my Etsy shop, go and then go buy something. Really appreciate that. 
If you want to see more content, give a like, subscribe. Bye, guys.